put their jobs on the line, and, and uh, it worked out in the end. So. And you had you had your own passion project. Do you want to talk about what, the, what it was like making that film and what it meant to you? Oh, um, it was a it was it was a difficult film to make because it's a difficult subject matter. But I had the good fortune of working with an extraordinary cast of local people who survived a war and they taught me a lot about life and film so it was you were quoted as saying you made a film with the people not for the people which i thought was beautiful it's, it's very true is it at all possible that you will one day direct him it is possible it, 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 it makes certain sense um, i would love it yes it's possible i have one question for you because i was such a fan of moneyball and you were so exquisite in it and I started thinking, I wonder if you took anything from Billy Bean's philosophy of life and applied it to your own. And we asked. Worth, uh, based on our perceived successes and failures, I find this, you know, really interesting that life is not just one success and one failure. It's a, a string of success, which leads to the next failure, which leads to the next success. And, um, and, and that I, I find most interesting about the story, that, that there are many people, many talented people not getting opportunities who are not being, who are, who are being devalued, and that if given the right opportunity, they, they could flourish as well. Thank you so Absolutely. much for stopping by. I have one more question. Where did you guys get your SAG card? What project was it where you first received your SAG card, if you remember? I was uh, put in something that I, when I was little, that I 